Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Earth Zoom effect in Premiere Pro. Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that cool earth zoom effect that I just showed you in the intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single Tuesday. If you guys want to learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Honestly, since I started this channel, you guys have been absolutely amazing with all the likes comments and subscriptions i can't even thank you guys enough so with that being said let's jump into adobe premiere pro let's go so before we go into adobe premiere pro you're going to need to download google earth pro it's free to download all you need to do is go on google and type in google earth pro and there'll be a download link you download it for free it takes about a minute after you download it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to come to the left hand side and the only thing you're going to want to have checked off is 3D buildings and terrain. Everything else should be turned off. First thing you want to do is pin this location. You're going to come up to the top and you're going to hit that little yellow pin and I'm just going to name it space. Then you're going to come over to the left hand side. You're going to drag the space down to temporary places and you're going to hit that little check mark to turn it off. And then after you do that, we're going to uh, type in the location where you want to zoom into. Uh, it could be anywhere. For me, I'm typing in the Huntington Beach Pier. Let's just type that in really quick. All right, search for it, and it's just going to do its thing. It's going to go down to where we are zooming into. Um, and so here you can see that we're zoomed into the Huntington Beach Pier. You're going to want to come over to the left hand side, and we're going to turn off that Huntington Beach Pier pin. You're just going to click that little X right there on the left side. And now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come up to the top, and we're going to pin this location to save it. So you're going to hit that little yellow pin, and we're just going to type this. We're going to name this Huntington, hit OK. And then I'm going to grab Huntington and turn off that check mark as well. Now it's fairly easy. All you're going to do is hit the start point. So for me, it's going to be space. And then we're going to come over to up to the top, go to view. You're going to go to show navigation and you're going to turn it on to never. So you get rid of that ugly side stuff. You don't want that on your video. So now all we're going to do is come back up to the top and we're going to hit this little camera record button. And you're going to come down. You're going to see a little record button right there. All you're going to do is hit the record button. Then you're going to come back to the left and hit the location you're going to zoom into. So it's pretty much your screen recording what location you're zooming into. All right, sorry for the lag because yeah, I'm pretty much screen recording a uh, screen recording, if that makes any sense. All right, so now we're at the location. Um, all you're going to need to do now is stop the recording. It should play back. And then right where you press record, there's going to be this little save button. You're going to click that button, save it, name it whatever you want and hit OK. Now you're just going to exit out of that. And now you're going to come all the way to the top, go to tools, uh, and then you're going to click movie maker. Now we're going to open up the movie maker. Uh, it's going to sh show the settings that we're going to be using. Uh, I usually would say do 4K for the best quality, but it's only at 30 frames a second, so it renders out really weird. So for this, uh, for this case, we're going to use 1080 and it uh, renders out at 60 frames a second just gives you a little bit more to work with. Um, and then H.264 I usually would uh, use, but it didn't really work well. So we're just gonna go down to the MJPEG, which is uh, MP4. And then you're gonna obviously wanna make sure it's at maximum render quality and just press create movie. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, we have our Google Earth Maps video on here. And to make this effect work, you're gonna need a video clip of the location you're zooming into as well. Uh, drone clips work the best, I found out, um, but it could just be any clip. If you go there, you film it, um, you can make this effect work. So that's the first clip we're working with is the Google Earth Map, and then this is the drone clip I got of the freeway. And then we're also going to have this cloud clip. I got this off of YouTube for free. All you need to do is go on YouTube and type in clouds green screen and you'll find something really easy to download. And then I also got this plane uh, that I just typed in Google um, plane green screen and I downloaded it. And it's just a still plane that we are going to make move later on. 
All right, so to make this effect work, we're gonna find the spot we want to zoom in at. So for me, I'm just gonna do it right about here. That looks good. I'm gonna cut that down, make it a little bit smaller, pull it over to the left. And then, yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're just gonna zoom in to right there. You kind of want a little bit of motion still going when you do the transition. So right there looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut that down. Then I'm gonna come over here and grab the drone clip and just put that right at the end of the other cut. And this is what it should look like for right now. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so now we're gonna cover up that cut. So what we're gonna do is grab the cloud clip and we're just gonna drag that over the top of that cut. Right there, that looks pretty good. But you could tell that the cloud clip is actually a little bit too long for that cut. So what we're gonna do is actually speed this up. So to do that, you're just gonna come up to the top and you're gonna go down to speed and duration. We're gonna change it from 100 to 350, hit okay. I'm just gonna drag that to make it right above the top of that cut right there. All right, now we're good to go. This is uh, the hardest part. So now all you have to do is go to effects on the left hand side, type in ultra key. You're gonna look for the ultra key and you're gonna grab, obviously grab the ultra key and you're gonna place it on top of that cloud clip. We're gonna get rid of that green. So now you're just gonna come over to the left hand side underneath the ultra key effect and you're gonna hit the little dropper tool. You're gonna hit that and then you're just gonna click on the green. It should take away the green completely, but if it doesn't, go underneath matte generation and change the tolerance to 80 or 85 and that should get rid of all the green. And that looks pretty good just like that. But you could see that the clouds are a little bit too prominent. I mean, you could do that if that's your style and that's what you're going for. But for me, I'm gonna turn down the opacity a little bit. So I come to the left-hand side and I'm just gonna change the opacity to, let's say 60%. And then I'm also gonna turn off the stopwatch so it stays 60% throughout the clip. You just hit okay. And then uh, now what we're gonna do is add a cross dissolve uh, to either side of that clip so that it comes in a little bit more gradual and it's not so abrupt, like there's just clouds popping on the clip. So let's trim this down a little bit. That looks pretty good like that. And then we're gonna grab another one and put it at the end of that clip and that should do it. So now it's just gonna come in a lot more smooth and gradual and it looks a little bit more realistic. And that's it for that part. So now let's move on to the airplane clip. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the airplane clip to the front and we're just going to uh, do the same exact thing. So we're gonna type in uh, under effects, ultra key. We're gonna drag the ultra key onto the airplane clip and we're gonna go again to the left side and grab the dropper tool underneath the ultra key effect and just click on the green. It should take most of it away. If it doesn't, then do the same thing. Go underneath the matte generation and you're just gonna take the tolerance up to about 80 to 90%. All right, that looks pretty good. And now all we're gonna do is set a keyframe for that airplane clip to go from left to right. So you're gonna go to the front of that, change it down, and you also want to make the airplane get bigger over time. So it makes the effect of you're flying down towards the plane. So obviously the plane would be getting bigger. And then once you do that, just make sure the airplane goes all the way out of frame. So it's not here. So I'm gonna move it over a little bit to the left. It's gonna be going so fast that it's not gonna matter if it looks not perfect or anything like that. And that's it guys. If you guys enjoyed that tutorial make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification you guys can also help support the channel by going down to the first link in the description and copying one of my shirts or anything you can get a mug you can get uh, I think there's a pillow or a sticker even a sticker but either way shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next Tuesday I'm out